Welcome to this YSL Report Builder tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at how to deal with nulls in expressions. We'll begin with a quick look at how you can test for and replace null values in the underlying SQL of a query. We'll then move on and look at how you can achieve the same result by replacing nothings in Report Builder. We'll also explain what happens when you involve a null in another calculation. We'll explain the difference between what happens in an SQL calculation and in a Report Builder calculation and give you a couple of techniques for solving the results in both SQL and Report Builder. So let's get started. To get started, I've created a new report in Report Builder, and the first thing I'll do is create a data source which connects to the movies database. Just a quick reminder that if you don't already have that database installed, you can use this video to help you get it done. There's a script you can download using this link, and then just follow the instructions in the video. Assuming you've done that already, you can right click the data sources folder in the report data window and choose add data source. I'll give my data source a name, I'll call mine movies as I usually do. I'll choose to use an embedded connection and then click the build button to help me build up my connection string. I can type in or select my server name, in this case I'll type in dot backslash SQL 2017 and then from the drop down list towards the bottom, I should be able to select the movies database. At that point, I can click OK a couple of times. Now that I've got my data source, I can choose to create my data set. So I can right click on the movie's data source and choose add data set. I'll call this one films, and then I'll use the query designer to help me build this one. From the tables list, I'm going to include two tables in this query. I'm going to include the film table and the country table. So from the film table first, I'm going to include the title column, followed by the budget and the box office dollars. From the country table, I'm just going to include the country column. I need to modify the relationships between these tables as well. So in the relationships section here, I'm going to click the little drop down arrow to see how these tables are being joined. Currently I'm using an inner join, which is only going to return matching values from both tables. Now in this particular example, I know there's one single film which does not have a country assigned to it. And I would like to include that film in the output um, nevertheless. So rather than using an inner join, what I'm going to do is change this to use a right outer join. So if I choose right outer, it selects all the rows from the table listed in the right table column here. So I'll get every single film, regardless of whether it has a country assigned to it. Having done that, I can click OK, followed by OK again, once the query has been written for me. Then we can build a basic table to display some of these results. Let's tidy up the report a bit by getting rid of this uh, placeholder title text box, and then we can right click and remove page footer as well. We can then insert a new table into the report by right clicking and choosing insert table. Then let's assign three fields. We'll go for title, followed by country, followed by budget and box office. I can drag box office dollars from the table or from the fields list and then just drop it at the right hand side of the table. You'll probably be familiar if you've watched the earlier videos in this little sequence with this little text display bug. If I try to run my report at this point, I'm probably going to not see many, uh, many values. Um, so a quick way to solve that, if I go back to the design view, if I highlight all the cells in the table and then simply change the font from uh, the, the default one to a different one and then switch back to the default, that will be sufficient to make sure that I see all my uh, text details regardless. So if I just change the column widths a little bit so I can see things a little more clearly, run the report, and there we go, we can finally see everything. We can see the film with no country assigned to it sitting at the top of the table. The country cell is empty or blank. In SQL terms, that would be described as null. We can replace null or empty values with a meaningful value. So for example, let's say we wanted to display the word unknown or unknown country next to any film which doesn't have a country assigned to it. We have several choices for how we could do that. If we have access to writing the query and we know how to write SQL, we could add an expression column to the underlying select statement. Let's have a quick look at how we can do that. If I right click on the film's data set and choose to view its properties, in the select list, rather than always, rather than trying to display the country column, I could add an expression which uses the is null function to replace that with an actual value. So to do that, I can add a new column by adding a comma and then use the is null function. The is null function in SQL requires two arguments. The first is the thing that could be null or missing or empty. So in this case, it will be the, the name of the country column in the country table 
follow that with a comma, and then say which value you would like to replace that with. So in this case, I'd like to replace it with a piece of text unknown. So in SQL, I must enter my text enclosed in single quotes. And then if I'd like to give that column a, uh, a sensible name, I can assign an alias to it by saying as, and then let's call this country name. I want to make sure that the alias for this column is different to the name of the existing country column. So the final expression should look like this. If I can zoom in so you can see it more clearly, is null country dot country unknown. So if the country column is null, replace it with the word unknown instead. Let's see what that looks like when we click OK and then add this new column to our table. If I drag a country name next door to country and then run the report, I can see that the phrase unknown appears next to any country that is missing or empty or null. If you don't have the option to add an expression to the SQL of the query, for example, if you were using a stored procedure to populate your data set, you can still solve the same problem by adding a calculated field to the data set in Report Builder. Let's head back to the design view and then right click on the film's data set and choose Add Calculated Field. I'll create a new column called Country Name 2, because uh, I can't think of a better name than that, but please feel free to change that if you can think of a better name. Then I'll click the FX button to launch the expression builder. Now, Report Builder doesn't have the is null function as SQL does. If I look in the common functions category and then the inspection subcategory, Report Builder has a function called is nothing. This is a slightly simpler function. It simply returns true when the value you're testing is null and false when it isn't. So to do this, to replicate what we've done with the is null function in SQL, we need to combine the is nothing function with an if function. So I'm going to go to the program flow category first and double click the if function and then head back to the inspection category and double click the is nothing function. Now I want to reference the country column so I can go to the fields list in the uh, list of categories and then double click the country field. I'll then need to close a set of parentheses for the is nothing function, then type in a comma and then state what result I want to get if the country is nothing or is null. So in this case, I'm going to type in the phrase unknown again. In Report Builder, don't forget that you enclose strings in double quotes rather than single quotes, as in SQL. If I then type in a comma, I can then state that if the country is not nothing or is not, not null, then I want to simply display the country. So I can double click the country field again and then close the set of parentheses for the if function. So the entire expression should look a little like this. Having done that, I can click OK a couple of times and then I can add the country name to column. I'll add this just next door to the country name column and then run the report to see the same end results just done in a slightly different way using a report builder expression. There is an alternative syntax you can use to test for is nothing in Report Builder. If I switch back to the design view and then right click the country name to column and choose to view its field properties. I can then open the expression builder again. And an alternative way to test this is rather than using the is nothing function, I'm just going to remove the name of the is nothing function and the open parenthesis there. And then after fields country dot value, I'll also get rid of the close parenthesis. I can then write the phrase is nothing with two separate words like so, and that will achieve the same end result. The logic there is exactly the same. So it's a bit of personal preference whether you like the is nothing function or to write it out explicitly as is nothing. The end result is the same if I click OK and then OK again and then run the report one more time, we'll see the same end results. Now let's look at what happens when we involve null in another expression. What I'd like to do is calculate the film's profit by subtracting the budget from the box office. And you'll notice potentially a problem with that because some of our box office and budget values are missing. So there are some missing budgets and there are some missing box office dollars and there are some films which miss out both values. Let's see how this works first of all by writing the expression in SQL. If I switch back to the design view, and then right click the film's data set and choose to view its properties. We can add a new column to the select list by giving ourselves an extra comma. And then I can simply refer to the box office dollars field. So I'll type in film dot box office dollars minus film dot budget dollars. 
I can then provide an alias for that column by saying as, and I'll call this profit dollars. Having done that, if I click OK, and then add this column to my table, when I run the report, I'll see that any, any expression which involves a null at any point, so if either the budget is null, or the box office is null, or both are null, I'll result in null in the final calculation. So replacing that value is fairly straightforward. We can test if the result of that expression is null, and if so, replace it with a zero instead, just so that we see something in the cell rather than just an empty blank cell. So back in the design view, we can right click on the film's dataset and choose dataset properties. And then just as we did earlier, I'm going to wrap an is null function around this expression. So just after the comma at the start of that line, I can say is null, open some parentheses, film.boxoffice dollars minus film.budget dollars. I can then type in a comma and choose to replace that with a zero if the result of that expression is null. And then close the parentheses to end up with an expression which looks like that. Having done that, I can click OK and then run the report again. And we should see this time that rather than having an empty cell, we'll end up with zeros in those uh, values instead. Now things work a little differently when you involve a null or a nothing in a report builder expression. Let's recreate the profit dollars column in a calculated field. If I switch back to the design view, we can right click on the film's dataset and choose add calculated field. Let's call this new one profit dollars two. And again, if you can think of a better name for it than that, please feel free to use it. I'll then click the FX button to launch the expression builder and then head to the fields list double click box office dollars, type in a subtract or minus symbol, and then double click budget dollars. Having done that, I can click OK and OK again, and then add this new profit dollars to column to my table, and then run the report. So what we'll see this time, if we have a quick look at the films which don't have either a box office or a budget, we'll see that the end result there is null, or zero, I beg your pardon. If we look at a film which has a budget but not a box office, you'll see that the result is essentially the negative value of the budget. And if it's the opposite way round, if we have a box office but we don't have a budget, we get the value of box office. So essentially Report Builder, when we create expressions like this, treats the nulls or nothings as zeros. We're getting this value minus zero and we're getting zero minus this value to end up with these results. This is a slightly weird way of working. It's very different to the way SQL treats nulls. Um, so what we would like to do in this particular case is test if either budget or box office is nothing, then produce a result of zero, otherwise do box office minus budget. So it's no more, no more difficult than what we did earlier on using the if function, but it's a little, little bit more effort than the SQL version. Let's go back to the design view and then right click the profit dollars to field and choose to view the field properties. We can then click the FX button next to profit dollars to to launch the expression builder. And I'll probably just change the width of this so we can see the, uh, the entire expression in a single line. So at the beginning of this expression, I'm going to use the if function open some parentheses, and then the is nothing function. Again, if you prefer, you can go to the appropriate category in the common functions list and double click to insert those. Now I'd like to check if the budget dollars is nothing. So I'll insert the budget dollars field, then close a set of parentheses, a space followed by the or operator, then is nothing again, open some more parentheses, double click the box office dollars field, and then close a set of parentheses. If either of those two conditions is true, then I want to produce a result of zero. So I can type in comma zero, followed by another comma. And as long as both values have been filled in, then I'll perform the original expression box office minus budget. I just need to close a set of parentheses at the end of that line now to correspond with the opening parenthesis for if. And having done that, we can click OK followed by OK again, and then run the report to have a quick look at the results. So there we go. In this case, rather than seeing the, um, uh, the same as the box office dollars, so that number minus zero, we're seeing the value zero. So anywhere where either budget or box office is nothing, we're getting the result of zero.
OK, so there's just a couple of basic techniques for handling nulls in your report builder expressions. Hopefully you found that one useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.